It's been a bumpy ride for US soybean farmers over the past year. China is the biggest importer of the crop, but the trade war has seen sales plunge more than 90%. Imports may have resumed, but they're well below previous levels. Lucas Heinen farms corn and soybeans. He says there's been some financial hardship, but he supports President Trump's efforts to tackle China on tariffs. If I have to take a little hit to, to help solve this problem, I, I'm, I'm willing to do that. I, I think it's in the best interest of our country, and that'll be the, in the best interest of my farm and, and my family down the road. Negotiators have already missed the March 1st deadline to reach an agreement. And as the talks rumble on, authorities estimate farm incomes have dropped nearly $12 billion over the past year. The Agriculture Department expects tariffs and an increased supply of soybeans to drive down prices this year. And some farmers here in Kansas say there's already enough volatility in the industry without a trade war between the world's two largest economies. Agriculture isn't the only industry feeling the pinch. A survey by the National Association for Business Economics suggests three-quarters of the companies operating in the goods-producing sector cite the negative effects of the tariffs. With steel as its primary raw material, nearly 10% of hydraulic equipment manufacturer Vectec's business is with China. The company says import tariffs have hit its bottom line, but that unfair trade practices pose a larger threat. We want to protect that investment in the, uh, the R&D research, and the only way to do that is through patents and fair trade. And one of the problems we've had in uh, selling our product in China is uh, copycats and knockoffs. China insists such claims lack evidence, but both Beijing and Washington say progress is being made on sticking points such as intellectual property. Marketing analysts say it's a bone of contention that predates the Trump administration. It's not a new trade war. It's just gone from being a cold war, you know, sort of a cold war trade war to, all right, it's, it's at a boil, it's at a simmer. It's, 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 you know, in the headlines now. Many businesses have steeled themselves against the impact of the trade war. Now they hope both sides have the metal to finally strike a deal. William Denslow, TRT World, Kansas.